hi guys and welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's tutorial i'll be showing us how to cut and sew this simple ankara jacket it is beginner friendly it's not very difficult you know to understand and you need less than three yards of fabric to achieve this so let's get started now to do this um i'm actually drafting on my pattern paper because of clarity you can cut this directly on your fabric right so um to draft the front i have my shoulder line here then the distance from my shoulder to chest line is nine inch how did i get that i divided my armhole circumference by two okay so you divide your armhole circumference by two so that's nine then my shoulder to um my half length i'm doing 16 then you also have shoulder to the um, length of the jacket so this is according to what you want okay but i'm doing 24 inches for the length of my jacket now on the shoulder line i'm going to mark half of my across back which is um 7.5 same thing on the chest line 7.5 then on the chest line i'll mark quarter of my bust circumference plus one inch for side seam allowance then on the waist, I'll be marking quarter of my waist plus one inch for darts. In the real sense, we are not going to be sewing in the dart. The dart is just acting as like an ease. Okay, so quarter of my waist is 7.5 plus one will give me 8.5. So I'll mark 8.5 then I'll mark one inch for my side seam allowance. So there's no dart on this dress. It's just for um, ease. Then I'll mark quarter of my hip here, 10, then one inch for side seam allowance, okay? It's very simple, very easy. Okay, so I'll just join all the points together. Okay, like I said, it's a very easy tutorial for beginners. Very easy. So I'm just link all the points together, okay? So um, as you're watching this video, kindly hit the like button. Do not forget to subscribe and make sure you share this video to your friends and to your social media handles thank you all right so i'm just linking all the points together like so then i'm going to join the point on the shoulder before i do that i want to shade the hemline of my um jacket so i came up by 1.5 inch okay towards the side seam and then i'm going to find the midpoint um on the pattern which is that should be about five that's five yeah because i maxed 10 so midway is five so i'll just use my ruler to um create like a slant there then i'll use my curved ruler to blend up into um the pattern like so so i want to just shape it slightly you see that now i'll be linking my shoulder and chest line together where i marked my across back measurements like so then i'll be marking the neckline so i'll be doing three quarter of an inch on the width of my shoulder there then i'll come down by one inch from my shoulder slant I'll use my ruler to link the shoulder. Um, yeah, to link the shoulder together like so. Good. Then I will find the midpoint of my armhole there. Come in by three quarter of an inch, and then I will use my French curve to create my armhole. So if you're still struggling on how to draft a perfect armhole, you can leave a comment in the comment section. I will do a tutorial on that, how you can determine armhole for different sizes, okay? So, next thing is to determine the neckline. So, I'll just come down from my shoulder line by um, either 3 inches or 3.5 inch, okay? Depending on the individual, but I think average is 3 inch, okay? So, I'll just come down now from my shoulder line. I'll first of all come down by 3 inches for 3.5 inch. I'll use my French curve to create a neckline. Then I'm going to create like a, like a keyhole. Okay, that's the design of the jacket. So um, to create a keyhole, I'll still be using my French curve to do that. I'll come down by either four inch or four point five. You can come down up to your chest line, whichever one is you know perfect for you. You just play around it. You don't have to follow the rules dogmatically. It's a free jacket, so you can just play around the measurement, right? So I'll use my French curve now to link um, my neckline to um, the point I marked. So I'll be having like a keyhole there. So this is it. If it's too small, you can still increase the keyhole. Can you see the keyhole there? So I'll just um, cut out quickly. And then to cut the back is very simple. We will just use the front button to cut the back. 
the back will be unfold there's no that no too much drama it's a very very simple tutorial okay so let me just cut out like i've said okay so um if there are areas you are still struggling with you know probably corset anything you can mention that in the comment section if it's something we've done i can respond to you by um, sending you the link to the video and if so something that we've not done we just consider it okay so i'm just cutting out like so and then i will get another pattern paper to cut my back pattern so this is another pattern paper here okay and i've drawn my center back line now let's quickly mark the back neckline on the same front pattern so i'll come down by one inch okay and then use my french curve to create my neckline okay so we want to use this to cut the back so this is back and front all right i hope somebody is not confused okay it's a straightforward tutorial trust me so i'll place my pattern like so on the line i drew I will pin it down and then I'll use my front pattern to cut out the back pattern. So the difference between the front and back is number one, front is on back is on fold. Secondly, the back neckline is a bit high. Thirdly, the front has a keyhole neckline. Every other thing remains the same thing. It's a very simple tutorial. No manipulation, no that transfer, no um, blending and all of that. It's just like a beginner friendly tutorial. So I'm just cutting out. Okay, and then yeah, I'll just so cut out. So for me, I always prefer to add my seam allowance when I'm cutting the pattern on my fabric. The only allowance I always add to my pattern is my side seam allowance. Okay, so this is it now. I'll also trim up the excess, add the lower part here that's on the waist now. Sorry, on the hemline of the blouse. Now I will use this to cut the neck of my dress. I'm actually cutting out the excess on the back pattern there okay there is no zipper so we don't need zipper allowance i'm just taking that out then i will um label this is my back i'm cutting two of this and it's on sorry I'm, the back is on fold i beg your pardon now i will place um i will cut out the back okay i already did sorry we're cutting out the front neckline now i already cut out the back neckline so this is the front neckline and I'll also cut out the keyhole parts. I'll cut it out. Meanwhile, the front is not on fold. So we're cutting two of this. Okay, so I will clearly show us how to draw the sleeve. The, the sleeve is a very beautiful sleeve. It's called a bell sleeve. So this is my um, semi basic bodice pattern. Okay. I have done a tutorial on how to drop a basic bodies, a basic sleeve pattern, I beg your pardon. So I will drop the link in the description box. You can watch it. Okay, so um, we want to adjust this into a bell sleeve. So what you do is you measure what you have from the center there to this point where the sleeve head ends. Then you're going to mark it at the lower part. Then you have determined the length of the sleeve. I'm working with 20 inches for the length of my sleeve. Then I'll just draw out a line like so, okay? So like I said, we're going to measure from the um, center here to where the sleeve ends, which is here, without seam allowance. So this is 8. I'm going to mark 8 inch. Then, because it's a bell sleeve, I'll be extending it by at least 3 inches. You can extend it more than this, okay? So this is 3. Then I'll also go to the other side of my sleeve. Okay, I'll first of all mark 8 inches from here. Okay, so your own might not be eight. You have to have your own, your own basic sleeve. So I'll mark eight, then I'll extend it by at least three. Okay, so I'll just link everything together like so. When I link it together, I will add my seam allowance on my fabric. Okay, that's a mistake. I'm supposed to link it to the sleeve head there. Sorry, ignore that first line. Okay, and then um, let me just cancel this. Same thing, I'll be linking the... Oh, I'm making a mistake again. I'm supposed to link it to this um, sleeve head. Sorry. That way. Okay, good. So this is my bell sleeve. I'll be cutting this on my fabric. I'll be adding half inch to my lounge around the pattern. So let me just cut and show us. Okay, so this is my sleeve. I'm not going to line it. It's not necessary. So I'll add my seam allowance round. One inch round. Then around the sleeve head, I'll be adding half inch seam allowance. Next is my front and back patterns. My back is cut on fold. 
I have my lining. I always like to line with satin because it gives my um, dresses structure. So I'm lining with satin. And this is my fabric. And then because it's a jacket, it should add some interfacing. So I added um, Estee to my Ankara fabric. This is my back pattern that is cut on fold. So the lining will be on top of it like this. You see that, okay? Then coming back to um, the front pattern, here is it here. So my front pattern, I have my two pieces of lining and two pieces of fabric. I've added my seam allowance round the pattern apart from my side seam allowance. So I added half inch round, okay? Round the pattern apart from the side seam, okay? And I have two. And I also added interfacing to my Ankara fabric just to give it structure because it's a jacket. It's necessary. Okay. So first thing first, we're going to be joining the front and back together, the shoulder. So I'll get my back piece. This is my back piece here. So I'll be joining to the front shoulder to shoulder. And I will repeat the same process for the lining. So I'll just put it together. Okay. And you should always work with your pins. It makes your work neat um reduces less error your sewing will align and all of that okay so i'll do the same thing for my lining and i'll just show shortly okay so i've joined the lining together front and back shoulder to shoulder same thing with my fabric so now i'll place my fabric and lining together right side facing the right side i'll go ahead and turn the neckline i'm not touching the keyhole yet just the neckline okay so half inch round I'll just go ahead and sew it together and uh, yeah so I guess we are enjoying the tutorial I don't think it's as difficult as as it looks okay so this is it here um, I've turned the neckline so next thing now is I'll go ahead to turn the side seam now for the neck you should create notches so that the neck will lie flat Hi right, guys, so um, I'll be turning front and back together with one inch size seam allowance. Okay, there, one inch down. Same thing for the other side of my um, jacket. Okay, I'll be turning it one inch size seam allowance all the way down. And I'll repeat the same thing for my lining. Okay, yeah, one inch size seam allowance. Okay, so now that I'm done doing that, this is how my jacket is looking so far, so good. All clean, all nice and neat. So now I will go and turn the hemline. Before I do that, you have to reduce the length of your lining by half inch. So that after turning the lining, um, after turning the jacket, the lining will not be sticking out. Okay, so um, you reduce the lining by half an inch. Okay, then you go ahead and turn the hemline. Okay. All right, guys, we're almost done with the tutorial. Okay, so now I will place my fabric and line together. I'll go ahead and turn with half inch seam allowance. Okay. So one more thing, if you like, you could add a little trimming, you know, around the um M of the sorry the jacket around here it's optional I'm not doing it I'm just adding as a tip for us you can actually add the trimming just to add a little spice to the jacket you know but uh, I don't think I'll be doing that I'm just showing us you know how you can spice up the jacket you get so then if you do this first before turning the hemline that is if you want to do that okay so I'm done turning the hemline now I will go ahead now and turn the keyhole. Make sure you start from the neck downwards. So, if you start from the neck downwards, you'll notice that part of the fabric will still fold in at the hemline. Okay, so start from here, so half inch all the way down. So, when you do that, you notch um, any curve part, you iron it, and then um, we go ahead to the next step. So, you just sew here with half inch seam allowance. So, let me do that and show us what to do next. All right, so this is my jacket. You can see it's very clean, very clean. So now I'll be adding my sleeves to the jacket here. Okay, I've already torn my sleeve with one inch allowance and I've already done the roll them. So I will be adding my sleeve to the jacket now and that will be like the end of the tutorial. So this is how the jacket looks like. Yeah, this is what it looks like so lovely very easy you know you can wear it rocket on the pants on a jean 
on a dress yes you can wear it on a, on a sleeveless dress so i hope you learned one or two things from this tutorial okay so if you want more tutorials you can visit our website www.wellala.com we have lots of tutorials for you to download and then um, you have access to those tutorials for the next one year okay so thank you so much for watching and have a great day ahead thank you